Hey church, I hope you are well. Welcome to this morning's devotion. If you have been keeping up with us, you'll know that this week we are talking about mission and what that means to us as a local church and as an individual and how best we can be out there in the mission field, so to speak, and, and helping us with our missions. Now, I don't know about you, but I've been brought up in church all my life. And uh, from a very early age, the mere mention of the word mission and missionary meant one thing to me. That was some old person, some old man, some old lady was going to come to church. They were going to come from a country that I'd never even heard of, couldn't pronounce, couldn't spell. They were going to bring some slides on the overhead projector. And really what it was going to be for us youngsters was a 30 minute snooze fest during the meeting. Now, thankfully, I've matured a bit and I've come to realise that those people sacrificed an awful lot to be in those countries. And I realised that what they were saying at the time was, was incredible stories. There were real sacrifices of men and women that were going out to places and really, really sacrificing to spread the love of God. I've also realised over the years that not all of us need to go out to other parts of the country. Not all of us are caught, called to go to other parts of the world. I remember being in a church once and uh, as we went out the front door, just above the door, there was a sign that said, you are now entering your mission field. And for every one of us, that's true. When we go to school, college, work, whatever it may be, we're entering the mission field. And I've read some books over the years about missions and about social action and stuff like that. And I've pulled a few things that I think have helped us as A teams and it helped us develop certain things along the way. And I just want to mention three quick things this morning that I feel have really helped me over the years. The first one of them is that people tend to listen when we treat them as friends. We've sometimes had a, a sort of a, not a policy, but a real desire just to treat people as projects. I've got to get this person saved. I've got to get this person saved. I've got to get this person to church. And sometimes that's put a lot of people off. When really all we need to be is just friends to people. Get alongside people, journey them in the good times, journey with them in the bad times, be with them, offer advice, but just also be there as a listening ear. And I believe as we do that, that people actually then come back to us and say, why is it you're doing this? What is it about you that is different to other people? And it allows us then to share something of the gospel. And that's because we treated them as friends first and foremost, not as another notch on the doorstep, on the door frame or another notch on the, on the sheet that says, oh, there's another decision. We're just treating them as friends and as treating them as friends, it's allowed us then to share our story. Second thing that I really think, think will really help us is that when we serve, hearts are touched. So when we're out there talking to people, when we're serving people and getting alongside people, when you're in the office and you're brewing up for people and you're just maybe buying lunch for people and you're just being there as a servant, that's so different and it's counterculture to what they see normally. And in doing that, and in just opening yourself up like that and being a bit vulnerable, it helps people and it, people to come to you and say, you know, why are you doing that? They feel they can approach you because you're quite open. You've served them, you've got involved. And because you've opened yourself up slightly for a bit of vulnerability, they feel they can come and talk to you and share things that are happening. So I believe that's another key thing for us to do, that when we serve, hearts are touched and it will help, allow us to share something of the gospel of Christ. The third thing that I've wrote it down here and the last and final, the final thing that I'm going to mention today, although there's lots of other stuff that I could say, is that doing the message precedes telling the message. Being the hands and feet of Jesus in your workplace, in your community, goes a long way towards then telling the message of Jesus. A lot of people will come to me over the years with A-teams and they'll want to volunteer and they'll ask about what we can do and then they'll say, and when do I get to share my testimony? When do I get to tell them about Jesus? And, I'll have to say, and I have to say sometimes, look, A-teams is not fundamentally about going out there and preaching to people. A-teams is doing what the church should be doing. It's serving the vulnerable, it's serving the needy. It's clothing the naked, it's feeding the hungry, it's doing all those things that it should do and will continue to do all those things regardless of what people's reaction to it is. But I said to the person, but trust me, give it two weeks, give it three weeks, whatever it may be, there will become an opportunity when you can share your testimony because that person that you are serving is going to come to you and say, why do you do this? Why do you come out on a cold night? Why do you come out on a wet night? And you can then share your testimony about why you do what you do. So doing the message proceeds to actually telling the message of Christ 
from where he came and where he died and then he rose again. So there's three quick things that I hope will help you uh, in your mission as you're out there. You know, church, we've got a great opportunity before us. Every single one of us, this is a world that is asking questions. There's so much stuff that's being bombarded on people, but there is a genuine need from people to ask questions, to see what is going on. There must be more to life than this. I've been so fortunate to be part of the team that go into GMP Manchester to do the Alpha course. And it's been so great to just be in there and talk to some of the inmates and so many inmates that are hungry to hear more about God. Pray for the prisons, guys, because I'm telling you now, there's a massive revival going on in the prisons. There are a lot of prisoners that are getting saved and it's a great opportunity for us. So when we go out there today or this evening, whenever it may be when you read this, go out and just be a friend to someone. Just serve someone. Just do the message of Jesus. And I believe that you doing that will open up a door that you can share your testimony, that you can share your journey with that person about what Jesus has done for you, what Jesus means to you in your life. I hope that's helped, church. We love you and we will see you at one of our gatherings on Sunday in Central, North, South, Geneva, Sheffield, Cardiff. I'll not mention anything else because people might think we're starting somewhere else. So have a good day. Bye-bye.